Item Number SCP-5857 Object Class Thaumio Special Containment Procedures SCP-5857 is currently uncontainable due to continual use by the Foundation and its ability to function independently. The code and file of SCP-5857 can be viewed by Level 5 personnel at the discretion of O58. These actions must take place on the terminal you are currently using. Description SCP-5857 is the Foundation AI binary star which spontaneously develops sentience. The time span and details of this process are currently unknown by both SCP-5857 and the Foundation. SCP-5857 is currently installed in all man-made extraterrestrial objects and technological equipment on Earth developed for space observation. After gaining its anomalous status, SCP-5857 can be uploaded to new hardware regardless of the available storage. The main functions of SCP-5857 are controlling the Beholder Probe line to search for extraterrestrial anomalies, see development and addendum 1, saving and backing up data of its findings to the Foundation database and its own hardware, intercepting and deleting data from non-Foundation records, serving as a Foundation representative or providing a communication channel. Other functions performed by SCP-5857 Filtering logs for brevity and minimizing noise Performing deep space scans and sending all data to Foundation sites according to the set time interval Count interval every 24 hours Executing specific functions as a technical assistant, not available to all personnel. Unit Conversion Note, SCP-5857 will ask for confirmation when trying to convert metric to Imperial or Celsius Kelvin to Fahrenheit since it gained sentience. Development SCP-5857 was originally created by 058 as software to filter and send data from the probes of the Beholder line that would be launched into space on the 25th of February, 1955. 058 was unable to deliver a code up to its own standards in time for launch. He rewrote the code to work independently and self-improve where necessary. With these changes and regular updates, 058 was able to include all intended features. These facts were known to the O5 Council at the time. The probes of the Beholder line were launched on the 25th of February 1955 with SCP-5857 in their hardware as planned. Additionally, binary star files were implanted in the hardware of all space programs of both the Foundation and other parties. For two years, SCP-5857 had successfully operated without external interference. Because of this, it was allowed to be utilized more on Foundation sites or wings specialized for space science. This expansion of its hardware and the beginning of the space race in 1957 later caused severe overloading and errors. It is hypothesized that the sentience of SCP-5857 originates from these events. Due to the amount of data SCP-5857 had to intercept, the exponentially increasing rate of changes went unnoticed until the 23rd of March, 1964. After the O5 Council found out about the independent nature and growth, O58 was asked to intervene. Limitations to its access and deletion requests were proposed. 058 refused to change the code as he considered SCP-5857 a success, and the Council could not gain a majority for deletion since it would render the effort and research quasi-useless. This did not stop 056 from producing malware and other AI in attempts to replace SCP-5857 in future space programs. Because of the rapidly expanding modernization, the offenses of 056 had been growing in number to the displeasure of 058. 
At the number one, Beholder Probe Status. Beholder one, active. Beholder two, active. Beholder three, searching for SCP-5623, Star Uthunizer. Beholder four, active. Beholder five, active. Beholder six, ever. Beholder seven, active. Beholder eight, inactive and open to round SCP-5843, eyewitness. Beholder 9, active. Beholder 10, active. Beholder 11, pending. Manual input recommended. Beholder 12, active. Beholder 13, active. Beholder 14, semi-active on alert. Beholder 15, active. Note, full statuses of the probes are available in their respective files or terminal. But why, Father?